Hello, Renaissance Academy white readers. I'm so happy to be back here with you today. We're going to have a new lesson today for Miami Jackson Makes the Play, and we're going to jump into chapter six. It's a really good chapter. So I am going to share my screen and get our presentation going. So let's go over here and share. And we want that presentation right here. All right, Miami Jackson makes the play. This is lesson 14. We've been at this for a while now, and you guys are amazing readers. You're making such great connections, and I loved what you submitted for the um, levels of intensity for the vocabulary words. So this, but we're gonna take a break from that for today because I wanna get you into chapter six. So supplies and materials for today, we're gonna need our student notebook and the pencil. So the, the uh, charts that you had up to this point and chapter six, which is part of this presentation. Okay, our learning goals in today's lesson, we will, we will um, uncover another type of situational humor and it is called situational irony. And we're gonna see that on pages 61 to 63. And we're gonna talk about situational irony in just a minute. And we're also gonna be using context clues to determine the meanings of unknown words. Because as a white reader, we're always trying to increase our vocabulary, both written and reading. So what is situational irony? Well, situational irony is something that occurs when the actions or the events in the story are opposite of what we thought was going to happen. So for example, if we're reading a book and all of a sudden Ralph wakes up late and he thinks he's gonna be late to school and he's rushing around, we're expecting that he's going to be late for school. But all of a sudden it throws us a curveball and says, after rushing around to get dressed, he realizes it's Saturday. So that is situational irony. He woke up on a Saturday the situation is that it's a Saturday. He would expect that it is a school day and he starts rushing around. So situational irony. Well, in chapter six, we're gonna see an example of situational irony on pages 61 through 63. We will read slash see an example of situational irony. And I'm giving you a little hint right here with this picture. This is Kenneth and Destiny Tate. Remember, situational irony means that something happens that is opposite of what you were expecting or thinking was going to happen. So remember, when you start reading chapter six, it jumps right into it. You think something's going to go down, but something flips and something else happens. And that's situational irony. All right, so our lesson 14, oops, I'm sorry boys and girls, let me go back there. Our lesson 14 assignment is going to be this. We're going to describe the example of situational irony that we find on pages 61 to 63. All right. And then we're going to also add to our new vocabulary chart that we've been keeping these following words on page 60, smirking, page 65, grumbling, page 65, chanting, and page 67 rattles on. So as you read chapter six, you're going to put those new words on your chart and you're gonna say what you think they mean in your own words. So we're gonna see the chapter. Um, this is chapter six. I'm gonna decrease or get myself out of the way here. And I'm gonna go through this. And here's a recap. So we're going to describe the examples of, well, the example of situational irony that we found on page 61 to 63. Hint, hint, it has to do with Destiny, Tate, and Kenneth and what happens in their exchange. And then you're gonna add the new vocabulary chart to the following words, um, smirking, grumbling, chanting, and rattles on. So chapter six is a great chapter. I don't want to give it away as a spoiler, but Destiny Tate has been working really hard for something to happen, and we find out in chapter six whether or not her petition is going to be successful. We also find out 
who's going to be on that all-star team leading up to chapter seven, which is the family day where they come to watch the all-star game. So I really hope that you enjoy chapter six. I hope you enjoy this assignment and I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye for now.